good suspension. Would you stop it? You'll have plenty of time to destroy it after I get it. Hey, George, I'm buying this car. Shh, what is wrong with you? You never tell him you like the car. You're not sure what you want. You don't even know why you're here. I told you, Putty's getting me an insider deal. Since when is Elaine's boyfriend selling cars? I thought he was a mechanic. I guess he graduated. That's an easy move. Go from screwing you behind your back to screwing you right to your face. Thank you. Putty's just gonna give you the car, huh? You'll see. So, Putty, it's a pretty good move for you, huh? No more grease monkey. I don't care for that term. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't know. I don't know too many monkeys who could take apart a fuel injector. I saw one once that could do sign language. Yeah, I saw that one. Uh, Coco. Yeah, Coco. Right, Coco. A chimp's all right. High five. You've got a good eye there. I see you've noticed the unibody construction. I'm Rick. Are you looking to buy or to lease? A uh, borrow from my friend. Yeah, he'll be buying. Maybe I should talk to him. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, he's an entertainer. You know, all over the place. <laughs> Why don't we take this boiler out for a shakedown? Any lock brakes, automatic climate control, uh, make a right at this corner, please, an adjustable steering wheel, and, oh, Mr. Kramer, you missed the turn. No, no, no idea. Well, that's okay. We'll make this next right and swing around to get back to the dealership. Well, it's a test drive, right? I never drive around here. <laughs> I'm going to recommend this car. I need to see that it'll handle my daily routine. So where are we going? Just a little place I like to call you see. <laughs> Elaine, have you noticed your boyfriend has developed an annoying little habit? The squinting? No. The staring? No. He keeps asking me to give him a high five. I thought all guys do that. Slapping hands is the lowest form of male primate ritual. It looks like we're going to need some gas. Oh, well, how much gas you think is in there right now? Well, it's on E. You know, look, oftentimes, Jerry, he lends me his car, and I find myself in a situation where the car is almost out of gas. But for a variety of reasons, I don't want to be the one responsible for purchasing costly gasoline. <laughs> so you want to know how far you can drive your friend's car for free? Well, I make it up to him in other ways. Where is it now? Still some overlap between the needle and the slash below the E. How low are you going to go? Oh, I've been in the slash many times. This is nothing. You'll get used to it. Just put it out of your mind. <laughs> Have you ever been completely below the slash? Well, I almost did once, and I blacked out. When I came to, the car was in a ditch, and the tank was full. I don't know who did it, and I never got to thank them. Mr. Kramer, the road! Whoop! Whoop! Is it just the angle I'm looking from? No, sir. We are down there. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I never felt so alive. <laughs> ah! Oh, man. Not the gas. But it needs it, Kramer. It needs it bad. <laughs> this will make you happy? Because it won't. Oh, you should just go on without me. Listen to me. When that car rolls into that dealership and that tank is bone dry, I want you to be there with me. When everyone says Kramer and that other guy, oh, they went farther to the left of the slash than anyone ever dreamed. Maybe we better get moving. It's good to have you back, Stan. I'm sorry, but the high five is just so stupid. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you what's stupid. You, stupid. <laughs> Oh, that is really mature. Yeah? So are you. We're through. Oh, so you're leaving. That's right. High five. On the flip side. There's the dealer! Hey! We did it! We pulled it off! I can't believe it! Where's the needle? Oh, it broke oh. off, baby! <laughs> oh, Mr. Kramer, I gotta thank you. I, I learned a lot. Things are gonna be different for me now. Well, that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I wonder how much longer we could have lasted. Yeah, yeah, I wonder. 